Blog Talk Radio. We welcome the night. Number saved. Did, and I—that's oh, weird. Nonetheless, Ian, right. we're here, 
It's great to be back. And again, it's not it's not a show without some these. So I already mentioned that, but we're here, and we are going to start our Independence Horror Marathon. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, while you weren't uh, while you were trying to get on, um, we've had you know scheduling conflicts, but we're here. And uh, what better way to start off our Independence Marathon than something a little patriotic? And uh, that is our film for tonight with our – and, of course, it has to be something zombie-related for some reason because that's me. And um, But it, it, still, it felt like a good idea at the time <laughs> because it's patriotic. It's still, you know, a couple days past the 4th, but it's still, you know, fireworks are still blasting off in the sky. And uh, – Especially if you if you live in a rural area, I mean they blast that until December. Um, but nonetheless, our uh, film is too. reelected. Yeah, <laughs> our film is reelected from um, I think it's 2020. It came out. I don't know. Um, yeah. But the film it's it's a very simple premise and it's a very simple movie and for an idea that they had. But we'll get into it. It's it. We'll get into it like we always do. So the i the the story of reelected, we have a group of friends. Um, well, family and friends. So we have Angela and Nate, their brother and sister, half brother, half sister, and then we have Mary, who is the girlfriend to Nate. Then we have Marcus, who is the obligatory. In, in in most movies, it would be the dumb blonde female, but we have the dumb blonde male. So it's kind of switched. And then later on, we're introduced to Evan, who is a superfluous character who's trying to hit on uh, Angela later on. So they decide, let's all get together because um, Nate and Angela, their father passed away. And so they're getting together and in the cabin out in the middle of the woods and – he that's where he you know did all his work and uh um he, you know he was I don't know exactly what he was but he did a lot of research into politics and back, you know history of um uh, you know the, the war you know of the nation basically the forefathers and all that and he has like a basement full of stuff and so they decided to go there for the fourth shoot off fireworks and you know everything's going well, and then Angela and Nate sort of get into a little bit of an argument, you know, brother sister argument, and uh, they bring up their dad and uh, a bunch of other things, which again it's it's superfluous. They just just know that they bicker a lot through the film, and so Nate's drunk and he decides to go down to the, the basement into and getting um, his dad, you know the Declaration of Independence, because they're having a political debate, him and his sister, because he's drunk and he's sprouting off all this nonsense and thinking he's like this big, smart guy where he's, you know, he's a drunk idiot. And, you know, Angela is sort of being like, sort of like the Karen, in a, in a sense, where she's like, okay, this and that, and you don't even know this. You know, she's been, you know, the whole left-wing, right-wing idea, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. All right, it's just it's the setup to where the film eventually leads, and so he gets um, the Declaration of Independence and he starts reciting it over and you know, and during that during the reciting, and this is one of the things I liked about the idea, but we'll get into it. Um, so he's reciting the Declaration of Independence, and they proceed to he throws it down, and then there's uh, this beer. And uh, one of the ingredients is Americana. And so the beer falls on top of the Declaration of Independence. And then money falls onto the Declaration of Independence. And this causes the president or, you know, or forefathers of George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Andrew Jackson to rise from the dead as uh, zombies. In a, in a sense, they're zombies, but they don't really eat flesh. So they're technically ghouls, but whatever, they're zombie presidents. Um, And so that's about the gist of the movie. Um, So we thank you all for listening. (laughs) No, I I digest. 
Uh, I digest. Um, but yeah, the presidents come back from the grave, and they start attacking the people in the cabin. And oh, uh, Angela, not Angela, but Mary, the girlfriend of Nate. She's a she's a black female. I want to point that out because later on, I, there's a there's things I want to talk about that I see differently with the way this film went. And so, basically, they're just. The presidents come, they attack the House, they want to get the Declaration of Independence and get rid of it so they can have this sort of this new new age, new world order in a sense, uh, where they're coming back to do whatever, basically. It, it Honestly, it, none of it really matters because they, they had an idea here, and it's a great idea, and I liked parts of it. And like the the reading of the Declaration of Independence as a sort of ne- necronomicon, bringing the presidents back to life, just anywhere they just come up from out of the ground, and even in the middle of the woods, in a cabin, they just boom there. Um, but again, you never know because they did have to because of uh, Lincoln and his tomb being vandalized, they had to move him, so they don't know where he is. So he he could be in the forest in the middle of the woods, you know, by a cabin. Um, but nonetheless, they they really don't do much with the premise, and they don't go all in with the idea. I mean, there's parts of this where it felt too on the nose because, like, they really wanted to do the Shaun of the Dead type humor, and it really doesn't fit well with the the way that they're presenting it, and it just kind of fell flat. And they, there's some decent, there's a few good gore scenes, like one at the beginning. Uh, with the, uh, one of the girl's arm getting ripped off, and then later on, uh, there's a I think a decapitation, which wasn't too bad. And like they they should have went a little bit more, you know, pushing the boundary a little bit, and sort of made it like sort of non PC in a way, because like there was moments like the, the it was like a first draft run. Because, like, there's, like, all these ideas that you could have done with the presidents and, like, one-liners and situations. And, like, one of the things that I came up with, because, again, you have the black girlfriend and then you have, I mean, they kind of bring it up a little bit between George Washington and Abe Lincoln. Where, like, because uh, Angela is, like, saying, what are you going to do, bring back slavery? And then George Washington goes... Slavery ended, and then he looked at Abe Lincoln, and he's sort of like nonchalantly looking away and blinking and like grinning. Um, like I was thinking, like maybe because he had like all the the ideas I was like thinking of, like have Abe Lincoln come back, you know, say four scores and seven years ago, and like I ended slavery, but tonight you're gonna be my slave bitch or something like that. You know, I was like thinking of all these like ideas, like these like non PC things that you, you know derogatory in in a sense of, uh, you know, terms, you know, that you could have had fun with, you know, being a stupid, you know, film like that. There's another film sort of similar to this uh, called The Butchers, which is about a group of people that goes to, like, this uh, place in the middle of the, I don't know, some kind of museum, uh, Backroads Museum, and, like, the, the spirits, like, the wax figures of, like, serial killers like Dahmer, Gacy, and uh, another one, um, Ed Gein. And, like, they come back and they kind of do the same things like the president's doing this one, but that one was honestly more fun, The Butchers, if you haven't seen it. I, I, I'd say check it out. It's kind of fun. It beats this one. Um, but, like, all the ideas there for the, the, the presidents being, like, over the top and, like, killers, like, they don't really do much. And... I wanted to see a little bit more, you know, like the antics of them. And, and like, the, like I said, with the first draft script, like, they could have, like, even, like, when they're getting revenge, you know, the, the Angela and the brother Nate, like, sort of get revenge on, um, or fought off against uh, Lincoln or something. Like, John Wilkes, you know, like, they could have done a hole in the head reference, you know, like, John, you know, I'm going to leave a bigger hole in your head than John Wilkes Booth or something. You know, I'm like thinking all these things in my head. I've been like, why didn't you do that? It's just like this most safest bet with like all this stuff. And it's just right. like, it wasn't, it's just like you have all these ideas. Like, like you have the president saying, you know, like I can, you know, I can never tell a lie. You know, Washington, like they should like 
had all these uh, great ideas and zingers that you could have used and like went with that they just like put to the wayside and just like you know what first draft clap my hands together I'm done that looks that's great it was just like the most easy script and the most easy idea but like the best idea imaginable that you just don't use properly and that that you know like I hate that <laughs> you know I hate seeing that idea yeah. and just like squandered away and uh but Ian, I'll let you talk, and then we'll discuss a little bit more back and forth. I mean, I I thought the premise was it had like a pretty decent idea, you know, like presidents coming back from the dead, uh, wreaking havoc. It was it was a fun idea, but they tried way too hard. Like some of the jokes, I mean, I got I laughed a few times, but there was times where I was just like, I mean, I was laughing, but I was laughing at like how hard they were trying to make a joke work, and it just I get what they were trying to do, but I don't know, maybe budget constraints and all that, but. I did like a few of the gore scenes. I liked the one, um, yeah, where the girl was getting hurt when she got her arm ripped off, and uh, then the that really uh, that toward the end when uh, what's her name got hit in the head and her skull was bleeding, and <laughs> right after she like dumped the dude, and I was like, that's I was like, ah. But, but it was just, it was, it just felt too quick in some parts. In some parts, it was just too long. It, I, I can always hate when that happens too, because, you know, it's just, it felt like there was just so much they could have done, more with the zombies and uh, with everything else, and it just they were focused on the party and I get it. It kind of was a setup to what happened, but I don't know, just even the sibling bickering, you know, bickering just kind of also felt a little forced. Like it was just, they were just trying to say cliche things. And I was just, I don't know. I just felt flat. And I really was hoping to, you know, enjoy the movie a little bit more. Not that it's a terrible movie, it just didn't live up to standards of what we kind of expected for it. Yeah. And again, that that, that I mean, happens a lot, but this one, like, it really like zombie presidents or just you know just undead presidents, and I was just like, and I was thinking like, okay, man, they're gonna go through and do all this like these zingers and one liners and all these quips and be, it would be fun and, you know, quick paced. And then it's just, just kind of dull and just like, yeah. it's not even that gory. And just like, you you had this great idea and you just squandered it. And like, you, you don't do any quips. You have Andrew Jackson going around sounding like a fucking gorilla. And then he's sounding like a lion. And then you have like, there's just so many things like, why is he growling? Why is he growling? <laughs> Why is he making an animal and, sound? Yeah, while, like, I was very confused by that because, like, one minute they were making noises, and the next minute they were talking. Uh, well, George mm-hmm. Washington was, and I was just like, "What is going on?" And, uh, oh man. And I guess they were. Slowly becoming human again, even though because like the the first started coming out, they were all decomposed, and then that started to go away. So I guess they were becoming normal in a sense. But again, it not that it fucking mattered because <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. But um, mm. there's just a lot of missed opportunities, and this is again it happens. We do this. I mean, it, Ian said it it wasn't terrible. It was just. It was there, you know. It's like, well, it was it was a watch, you know. It was, 
a short yeah. watch and they've just meandered around for aimlessly and bickering and again it, it it dealt more like I'd love to have got some more backstory with like what Washington and Lincoln wanted to do. Right. I mean you kinda get a little bit of it. But like it'd be cool if like then we're gonna get all the other presidents up, you know, then we're gonna and then like all this other ideas and then like maybe they could have done something weird like a little Easter egg with like Benjamin Franklin or something coming out like I'm gonna tie you up and turn you you know, like and I'm gonna send your ass flying or something into the sky and electric you or something stupid, you know. I'm just like thinking of all these dumb ideas, you know, I can think of yeah. on a whim and they didn't even yeah. execute it. You know, like just like even little zingers, I don't care. You know, like the whole again, the joke I made with John Wilkes Booth, like I'm gonna make your head a hole in your head bigger than John Wilkes Booth ever did, you know. Like they're just like stupid. And, like even the one joke with like there's people behind you, know, the British are coming, you know, and then, like, Mary's back there, like, what, Mary? You know, like, was, it was sort of, it was, it was so, like, preschool jokes, and, like, you didn't, it, you didn't even go for was. the gusto. It was like, and I just, I was just, some of the jokes, I was like, that, that's, that's something that you put in a blooper reel because they were just being stupid. Like, that, that. I when they did that, I just and that and the cutaway gag where they were like, where's Andrew Jackson holding up his money, going ha? Ah. I was just like, what? I was like, they, that's why. I there was just so many times I kept finding myself saying like, what the hell? Why? Why even put that in there? I was like, mm-hmm. it doesn't make. It's not funny. <laughs> it's like, it's like that's some Family Guy shit. Honestly, that's like one of those like spoof gags from like those uh, who did the guys that did like date movie and disaster movie. It's just like a cutaway yeah. for something like that. It just felt stupid like that. But yeah, like I mean, it had it. It had an okay <laughs> premise and it had some okay gore. But man, they just. Like I, I don't know how many times I have to say it, they squandered the idea, and they just again everything was so basic and you know preschool honestly because like they didn't say anything you know oh George Washington said like fuck at the end of it I think and I was like or ass or I don't know exactly what he said when he was the the killed him off spoiler alert but <laughs> um they, they could have done so much more with it and like I wanted like you know, evil presidents, and like, no, like, I mean, George Washington, he was, again, he was the leader, and then you have Abe Lincoln, who doesn't really do much besides scream four score, four score and seven years ago, and then proceeds to have a knife fight or something, and like, he, he he's still good, freed the slaves, like, I wanted that, like, I freed the slaves, but tonight you're going to be my bitch, or something like that, you know, I wanted, I wanted something st- crazy outlandish with like the the puns and the goofiness of it like seeing all the you know, you know non-PC presidents you know yeah. but it, it just well, not, I, it wasn't anything like that yeah and you know there's just there's just really not much to it especially yeah. if, like they had something they I mean like I enjoyed the whole... Like, um, they didn't even do anything with, like, Washington's wooden teeth. You know, like, he could... You know, like, like him ripping, like, flesh off because he has wooden teeth, you know? And, like, they could have done something like that, you know? Like, I'm going to be able to tear your flesh limb from limb because I don't... I have wooden teeth and they're not going to break or something. You know, something you know, something along that line. But I didn't mean to interrupt you, and I was just another idea oh, that popped fine. into my head. Um, I, what I was saying was, um, I really liked when they did, you know, when they read the, you know, Declaration of Independence. Honestly, I thought that made sense. I was like, there was a mm-hmm. couple of things. I was like, okay, I like the fact, and you know, and I felt like it wasn't campy enough. At the same time, like, because there's a difference between campy and childish, and I felt like they blurred, you know, they didn't even really blur the line a little bit with that. 
Um, I, I would honestly, after the setup in the beginning, I expected more. <laughs> I was like, all right, I was like, this can't be that bad. When the girl gets her arm ripped off, and was like, I'm gonna, I, I know I have friends that are Navy SEALs, and they'll find me. And I was like, okay, that's a little funny, but all right. But I don't know. I, I did expect have a little bit more expectation. Uh, from what you know the premise was and like you said I I expected more evil zombie presidents or just like mindless zombie presidents and I thought we were going to get to see all of them just coming up but like I, I also I do want wish they would have went a little bit more into their father and like it was just kind of random that he just happened to be a president paranormal uh, investigator and le- learning, uncovering the dark secrets. And was, and yeah. nobody knew about this. And then you got... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I don't they know. just went like the most basic, like they couldn't go into like Illuminati or anything like that, but they don't, no, they couldn't do that. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd say I'd say just stick with like the Washing the the Masters of Horror episode, Washingtonians, because that was a great great episode. Um, and they do, even though it's not technically presidents per se, but they all dress up like George Washington, <laughs> and they eat, you know, and they're cannibals, and that's a much better idea and short to the point because it's only an hour. <laughs> and this one, it's 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 still short. It's like an hour and seventy eight uh, hour and. Uh, 18 minutes, but uh, it doesn't really do much, and that Masters of Horror... Honestly, it felt longer for me. Yeah. Because I kept looking at it. I kept looking at it, and I was like, there's no way that this has only been 30 minutes. Yeah. It it really dragged there towards that party stuff, and it just nothing... I was really hoping the brother would sacrifice And Again, not, not to say, like, it's just like the humor, like I said, they they wanted to do that sort of Shaun of the Dead esque humor, and it just did not really fit. Because like, oh shit, she's getting attacked by he's a zombie. Oh no, he's not. It's just a homeless guy walked in here in a George Washington wig <laughs> because of the fireworks. I'm like, no, that's a zombie. Oh okay. <laughs> and then like they had like, so you're telling me a Was- George Washington is fighting her? Okay. And it's just like it's the most driest humor that they're trying to pull off, and it just was not working. Like, come on. And that's why I said it was like a first draft. And, you know, it, it could could have, maybe not, who knows, uh, speculation. But it just felt like they went with the most, like, that's a good first draft. I think we're going to shoot this. And, like, they could have went with so much further with everything. And, I, yeah. man, it's just a yeah. yeah. They had all, like, everything was set up, like, so well. Too. Like, I really thought that they had a good setup. It was like, you know, the cinematography wasn't that bad. The acting was a little stiff. Um, the only real chuckle, like, good chuckle I got from when he was like, it's just some homeless, when he's, uh, his dumb friend was like, it's just some homeless man dressed up like George Washington who's violently attacking your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just like, and you're just sitting there, letting your girlfriend get in attacked. I was like, there's this. I was like, these guys are useless. They did nothing, and, and none of the girls thing, did anything. Like, no, the girl. Well, the, the girls were just there. Like when when she was breaking up with him at the end, and then the spoiler, Washington put the axe in her head. There's another yeah. op. Another great opportunity to put a pun, like because he's like, I chop your head off, like I'll chop down a cherry tree, you know, something like that, or an apple tree, whatever. There could have been all kinds down. of. Yeah, yeah, there's so there's many all puns kinds that could put that... in there, and it's just like no, it was like someone just like make a movie with George Washington, They're like okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just he... like, well, what's their most known more four things? I'm like okay, we'll do this, we'll do that, four score. Declaration, John Hancock, yeah. blah blah blah. It's just like, all right, I hit all the, hit all the pinpoints, all the, 
all the bold oh. spots and it's just like whatever. I don't know. It, it was it, it was a missed opportunity. And again, it, we get one of those every now and then, and just it, it sucks because like you have these great ideas and you just don't do much with it, and it, it sucks because you see the what could have been okay, and they just like nah, we're good. We're gonna do yeah. the easy route. See, and that's what they did. Like, just and another draft at the for script. For an hour long movie, too. The line. You know, for an hour long movie, nobody did anything. Like, the zombies barely, like, they attack, ran away, everybody survived, except for old dude. Uh, and then, um, that was it. Like, they, they kept yeah. running. Like the zombie, like the zombies would attack and then run away. They would attack. The zombies would run away. Then the zombies finally attacked, killed a bunch of people randomly, and then you know we had our survivors, and that was it. And then you had like some this. weird plot for a declaration of independence that doesn't really get like, oh, we need this, and then they want to burn it, and then they don't, and then they do, and then they don't. I don't, I don't know. Right, and I just like I like, like I said, you know, I like the scene where they're reading it to, you know, banish them. Like I was like, they that was their lore. They set it up like that, and that made sense to the plot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, at least they kept that was like the only thing that actually made sense about the movie. The rest of it was just because. It's like they honestly, I feel like this movie would have been a hell of a lot better if it was a short film instead of, you know, a featured length. Like because then they could have cut out a bunch of unnecessary parts and they didn't have to do the whole, you know, running away and coming back and running away and coming back multiple times uh just to, you know, get that feature length time. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, like it, 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 it was like a slacker comedy well. too. It was just like so weird. You know, I'm not saying like Son of the Dead is not a slacker comedy, but I'm just like saying, you know, those teenage, you know, like weed films, you know, that you know, college weed films. So it's sort of something like that. I don't know. And it's just like, and I just now. like how it, it, when she was throwing the money at him, like guessing how much that beer was, uh, just like specific. It was like, here's the was it a dollar? Now was it five dollars? Was it twenty? Oh no! You summon the three, <laughs> the Holy Trinity, <laughs> the only mm-hmm. presidents that. I was like. I was like, are they gonna? Is she gonna just start? I actually kind of expected her. To just keep going, <laughs> just for like a hundred, and you know, throwing yeah, everything they had at Roosevelt. Him. And I could, have, man, that movie went somewhere. They had Roosevelt just coming out there, right. just like guns blazing. <laughs> <laughs> but he would have been like, just... the, you know, even though Washington is like the final boss, but like he was like the second boss. <laughs> the fucking Roosevelt coming out, gun swinging. <laughs> And it's like a fucking teddy walking around with like a buffalo on his back. Like, I'm going to fucking murder your ass like this buffalo. I don't know. It was just smoking. It was just so smoking weird. Smoking a freaking cigar and just coming around, guns blazing. I don't know. He's sort of been like, uh, oh, God, I've grand, not, not grandpa. You know, sort of like the old guy from the Frighteners. You know, I guess grandpa. I don't know. <laughs> just sort of like that. But I, I... I did kind of find it funny when he was like, when the dumb friend was like looking at the fireworks and I was like, I got an idea. And then he's just in the sexy uh, Uncle Sam costume. Uncle Sam. And I'm just like, I, I had a feeling they were going to go that route. I was kind of hoping they would actually, like, uh, he would have done that, but then like the girls would have gotten the fireworks and like start shooting at them. And uh, but like they did nothing. Like they had a few things that they set up that could have been used for something. 
Maybe but that's then the it thing. Does. Maybe that's the joke. Like, oh, you expect us to do this thing, but now we're just going to, you know, take the shortcut around it. You know, like, you want us to hit all these points, but we're going to do this instead. You know, well, like, maybe that's the joke. I, we're missing. I don't know. But as a movie, yeah, it I don't still know. wasn't all that good. I just, when they knocked George Washington down, I kind of expected them to um, get the axe from him. And, like, cut his head off or something. But, like, you know, do something. Like, I felt like they died, like, zombies died way too easily. And Yeah, and you don't even know what happened to Lincoln either. You just know he had a fight with the brother in the house, and then you never go back and just see the brother come out. And then, like, again, he gets the chainsaw and the gun. Just, again, he... You, you think he's going to use the chainsaw, it doesn't work. You think he's going to use the gun, it doesn't work. And, uh, again, just little small little gags, but it's just like the most, like, it just uh, too you know, it's like a, a wet gags. fart, you know. It's just like, ugh. Yeah. Like, that was the, I think that was the problem. They tried to do too many, and gags aren't necessarily a bad thing. Like, like you know, going back to Shaun of the Dead, they had gags like that. Like, if a gun in wouldn't work in those kind of movies, it'll eventually work. It's just the, the, oh my God. And then like kind of thing. And then they finally get something, but yeah. nothing works. And they just happen to fall into everything and everything just yeah. turns out magically. Okay. It was just the, the whole end. deadpan. It was just like, everything was like dry and deadpan. Even the ending was like the, the ambulance people. You know, the paramedics yeah. like, oh, the surgery is not going to cover your foot. <laughs> like, why not? Oh, it, it only cuts, it, you know, only does this for if you're in the hospital. And it's going to be $9,000 for the ride to the hospital, you know. like, But you'll be able to see the fireworks in town. <laughs> it's just a, like, yeah, and... Again, just, it was just dry, deadpan, and just like the humor just didn't work. The, the tri- Like you said, they tried way too hard, and this needed to be an Evil Dead 2 situation where they just went for the gusto craziness with, like, yeah. you know, even though, again, budget limitations, I, I get it, but you can still have that. I mean, I've seen, we've reviewed films on much lower budgets than probably Reelected, and they managed to do that. I mean... What was that one movie we watched that the guy only paid, I think, what, like 500 or 50 or something like that? That's like weird fiction. very, very like the anthology. I think it was like three hundred bucks. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I guess Ian dropped. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and call that because Ian can't call back in. But everyone, I appreciate those who stuck around during the uh, issues at the beginning of the show. Hopefully, you made it through. And enjoyed our review of Reelected. Um, I hate that Ian had to drop out there, but uh, nonetheless, we will be back next week with another indie horror film. Uh, stay tuned to our Facebook page as well as Instagram. Both uh, again, Horror Not Oasis Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we will keep you updated on the film for that week. So we think everyone for listening and we will see you next time on a horror not oasis as ian would say good night Yeah.
Yeah.